Hey guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead and welcome to the weekend. Um, you know, I already did a whole playlist and video series on how to breed your tilapia, but I wanted to do a quick update on another breeding or another spawning that has taken place. And today is the eighth day after spawning. And as the eighth day, you start to see the mom release her babies as they patch out of her mouth, but she's still very protective and so she's scooping, she's scooping them back up at all times. Um, it's now time to get this tank uh, prepared for all these babies and to quantify how many babies we actually have. Well, I'm not going to quantify them, just a visual, just look how many there are. Um, and get this tank right here ready to be the grow out, um, uh, to get them to a certain stage. Actually, to get them to, to that stage. And I'll actually, with this video, yeah, I'll explain what I'm going to do with that, with those fish, the first spawning, um, as well. It's time to distribute them throughout the rest of the system. Here she is. Her mouth is full of the babies right now. And she's got that coloration where she's um, got all those vertical lines and some horizontal lines on her face that help her, help the babies recognize her as the mother. But if you could see inside that, all those babies are inside there. It's time to take her and dump the babies out of her mouth. And I'm gonna get everything out of this tank because it doesn't need to be in here for the baby. Uh, like, oh, there's some right there in the corner that have actually escaped. So this thing right here is already off. I turned that off a few days before it actually happened, the hatch did. You don't want all the babies sucked up into your filter, of course. I'm just going to take everything out except for the heater and the sponge filter. And uh, you, you don't have to feed them right away. Give it a day or so, but then put some algae wafers on the bottom for them to eat on. But now I'm going to get a net and catch the mama, flush her mouth out, put the babies in here, transfer the mama over to the other tank. See, she's spitting out all the babies now. That's really important to notice is that she gets she has spit them out. So let's let all the let's let all the babies out. There's all the babies. There it goes. Now it's over there. And now we have all the babies. And this one, this looks like a smaller hatch than her first one she had. So we've got to make sure her conditioning is up a little bit before we breed her again. Here's a little grouping of them right here. And here's the majority over here. One day old. Like I said, I wait a little bit, and then I put some algae wafers in here. What I mean by a little bit is, I typically wait a half a day to a day before I feed them. Okay, I won't waste your time showing you, but I'm, what I'm doing is lowering the temperature of this tank slowly down to 70, 72 degrees then it's going to match the temperature that is within the main system and I'm going to divide 30 to 50 of these in each one of these 100 gallon things as they get bigger obviously I have to d diminish the numbers down but um, 
that's the plan. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.